He's living his life, but don't tell him. He's living his life, but don't budge it. Now then, guys. It's Friday, it's Pork Pie Friday. Welcome back. Hope you're ready for a good weekend. I'm excited for some pork pies. I'm going to quickly nip to Wilson's because it's just around the corner from where I live. I can I get a pork pie and can I get a uh, pie as well, please? Right, guys, super excited about today. Wilson's award winning, really popular, really well known. Like, if you like pork pies, people have heard of Wilson's. I've got two pork pies from there. I've got one of their traditional pork pies and one of their flavoured ones. You're going to get the traditional pork pie on the leaderboard. Let me just tell you a few things. Firstly, I could have started with this place. This is the place that got me in love with pork pies. My friends come up, they always go, let's go Wilson's for a pork pie. We always love pork pies. I'm not going to be biased on the leaderboard, but, you know, I didn't want to do Wilson's first because I thought, I know how good they are, really. That, that is the truth. I know how good they are. So let's take this pork pie out. Let's have a look at it. So it's got a bit of warmth to it. Again, I've not been to their hot counter. I've just been to their regular counter. Um... I've just got a pork pie, but it does have a bit of warmth to it. So there it is, guys. We will do some close-ups in a second. I know a lot about Wilson's pork pies. Lovely jelly in them. You know, I'm excited to eat this. But I will tell you, this is probably the first time in two, three years since I've had one of their flavoured ones. So there's the pork pie. The pie itself is £1.35. So I'm going to do what I usually do, and I'm going to cut right down the middle of the pie there we go right down no special effects no nothing let's turn it around and there it is there there it is there's the pot pie what do you guys think so i know the taste is really nice you know i will go through that with you but if you notice, the meat is is not as chunky as other pot pies. It's it's a very pink meat rather than a, a white meat. So let me just see if I can just show you around this pie. Lovely golden crust. There you go, look at that. What a pie. When it comes to bonfire night, I know places around here, you know, Christmas bonfire night, places around here, book these pies like mad they absolutely love them so guys what do you think of it you know do you think it looks better than the others worse than the others you know i do remember the one in woodlesford um how getting farrah was absolutely amazing and i think you know it's going to be a close race look you know there's there's some jelly in there you know the nice amount of jelly as you've just seen in the close-up you know, it's a lovely looking pie. Probably, you know, it is a bit golden brown today compared to when I normally get them. But that's just a Wilson's pie. So, let's dive in. Beautiful. So, let's just talk about this pie a little bit. You know, I've had a bite into it. The meat is really well seasoned. It's lovely. The jelly is really nice. The pastry is gorgeous. I think it is a great pie. And it's like I say, it's £1.35. So it's not on the top end of the scale. It's not on the £1 end of the scale. But I think £1.35 is a fair price, really. Again, it probably isn't the biggest of pies. You know, there have been several bigger on the leaderboard. This is probably about the same size as the £1 pot pie in Leeds Market. So, but how that meat is seasoned is very nice i mean i think they've got a few shops they've got a little food van but they are definitely one of the nicest tasting pot pies that you're gonna find i'm sure along this journey i may find a better pot pie to be honest with you i'm trying to think where they're gonna go on the leaderboard what's weird is there'll be people out there that think every pot pie is the same a pot pie is a pot pie is not 
they are so different between them you know the different meats the pastries the way they're cooked some are warm some are cold price points you know how everything's seasoned made you know the chunky meat the the not so chunky meat you know the jelly that some have got tastier jelly than others it's crazy really how different a pot pie can be to another so here's the leaderboard so far so at the top we've got Howgate Farrar coming down to Schofield Malcolm Michaels Crane and Scott first Samuel Valentine so where do you think I'm gonna put it well you ever think and bang it in the comments where I'm gonna put it I'm gonna start having to think myself I'm going to keep you in a little suspense yeah. and first I'm going to try their chilli jam pork pie so they call it a chilli jam pork pie right not just a chilli pork pie I mean I guess the difference in between it is jam this pork pie so this pork pie is £1.60 so it's 25p more it's about the same size looks a nice pork pie smells good it's always good to smell because, you know, you get a very sweet smell. So, I wonder if this is going to be a sweet pot pie. If you remember from uh, How Getting Farrar, I got a chilli pot pie. But it wasn't a chilli jam pot pie. It didn't really have any sweetness to it. Where I can smell the sweetness on this. So, you know, as I've said in other videos, I'm not a big fan of matching the, the sweet and savoury. But there is the odd thing that I do like. So, it's going to be interesting to see what this comes out like. But yeah, it's a nice good sized pot pie, £1.60, Wilson's make it, fantastic butchers, love Wilson's, let's have a closer look. There is the chilli jam pot pie, it's got it's nice uh, centre in the top, you know, you'll see around the pie in a second. What we'll do like we always do, we'll cut straight through the middle, let's have a look, that's it, nice chop, there we go. And no camera tricks, we'll just open that straight up. So that's very pink and very red in there. A lot of chilli. By the looks of it, some by the looks of it, some chilli jam in the top there. You know, it's got your jelly round. <coughs> you know, it looks very pink, very red. You know, it looks like it's gonna be quite spicy if I'm honest with you. There we go. Lovely looking pie. Guys, what do you think of this pie? What is your favourite flavoured pie? I'm still on the hunt for something proper unusual. I'll be honest with you now, I don't like haggis. So I've not had a haggis pie, you know, or a black pudding. You know, but I do see black pudding ones quite common. I have seen a haggis one, you know. But pretty much anything else I'll eat. You know, I've had a couple of chilies, I've had a tomato, um, still and an apple. So you guys, you know, do you know... That is what I want to know. Do you know places, not only with good pot pies, with crazy flavoured pot pies? That's what I want to be. I want to see other people's little inventions. So once I've had my pot pie, I get to try their little creations. And I like that. You know, I like how things are different. Some are chilli, some are chilli jam. So straight away, I can tell you, there's a sweetness to this pot pie, you know. And that's definitely the jam. The jam side of things comes through really early in this. Not too much of a kick, you know. I'd say the How Getting for our one was spicier. They're very similar shops then. I really like both shops. You know, can't take anything away from either shop. They've both got a solid pot pie. Both got really nice flavoured pot pies. And I just really like the look of them when I went inside. They were, they were really nice shops, both. Very similar shops, which is quite weird. I wonder if one's taken inspiration from the other or vice versa or if you know let me know it's very similar to their traditional just with like the chili jam you know the pork pie itself clearly they're using the same casings um all the same pastries all the same jellies and that but the, the, a full different mix it's nice to see that the actual whole mix is flavored not like some of them I've been having, just had a layer on top. Really nice to see that the whole mix is flavoured. Because some of them I thought maybe the, the pork and apple one could have, the apple maybe could have run through the pork or, you know, certain little things. But it's nice to see 
that the whole pork pie is mixed with a chilli and jam flavouring. Let's get the leaderboard back out. Let's have a little talk. So, you'll see straight away, Wilsons have gone to the top of the board. But they've not gone with a top score. They've gone with a joint top score. Both of them, to me, are the best so far. There's room at the top of the leaderboard for better. And there's room at the bottom of the leaderboard for worse. But at the minute, they really, really are my two standout pies so far on this journey. What I would like to do is find a couple more pies that do hit that nine, nine marker and then eventually do a shootout between all, all them. That'd be really cool and try kind of really narrow it down. Because sometimes it's difficult, you know, on a Friday knowing, remembering what you had last Friday. But certain ones stand out and that des deserve that score of nine. So, Wilson's, you've hit the top of the leaderboard with a joint score. I think you're a great pot pie. Guys, you need to go visit Wilson's. It's a great place. It's got a lovely selection of food, not just the pot pies. All the food is lovely. Amazing hot counter. We have roast chicken, roast pork, nice breakfast sandwiches. It's a great place. You won't be disappointed. Right, guys, so remember, hit that subscribe button. Follow me for more Pot Pie Fridays, more crazy adventures. We're getting closer to the 100 subscribers. Ready for that crazy 100 challenge, which I'm, I promise you it's going to be fantastic. You guys have a good weekend. I've got another video coming out in the next couple of days. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this Pot Pie. Have a good weekend.